，你会说普通话吗？你会说普通话吗 ？Can you speak Chinese? For most of you, those were just random mouth sounds. I ain't understood a damn thing you said either. But for a billion people, I just transmitted a thought to your brain, like I am now. So I've got to know、uh, how the hell do mouth sounds become thoughts? Um, alawami, uya, kush kish, kush kish, kush kish. Buy a kush wing, just go get a quindrobo. And how did we start doing this whole talking language thing? No other animal does this. You want to know what's crazy? The answer is going to come down to this: a tiny throat bone that changed everything. This little guy is why you can understand me right now. So today, let's dive into the most important bone you've never heard of, and how it unlocked humanity's greatest superpower. Let's get smart about this nonsense. <laughs> All right. So if we want to know when humans learned to talk, we've got to understand a big problem. It was 1985. These scientists are standing around trying to figure out when humans first started talking. Yeah. So bit a bit of problem, guys. So unlike bones, language doesn't leave fossils. I can dig up a dinosaur bone, but I can't dig up the first worm. Well, how do we study something that disappears in the thin air? This was the problem. Language just vanishes as soon as it's spoken. But then 1994, we go to this place, Cima de los Huesos. AKA the pit of bones, a cave site in Spain. Holy shit! I found a bone I ain't never seen. I found a bone. Oh, it's a highway bone. A what bone? The highway, the tiny throat bone that controls speech. And this this one is 450,000 years old. Oh, we found the small thing. And just like that, one tiny bone solved the biggest mystery in human evolution, kind of. But it puts us on the right track. Real quick, speaking of communication breakthroughs, our ancestors spent thousands of years trying to figure out how to express themselves. How do I tell tribe saber to tiger stress? <laughs> well, today you use our sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp connects you with licensed therapists who can help you communicate better than any caveman ever could. You just answer a few questions about what you're dealing with, get matched with the therapist in under 48 hours, then start talking through messaging, phone calls, or video chat, whatever is best for you. And if your first therapist isn't working, well, you just switch to someone new anytime. No awkward breakup conversation. Go to BetterHelp.com/HenryBellcaster. It's in the description for 10% off your first month. Now back to our wacky voice bone. Okay, so what is the hyoid bone? Look, it's this tiny U-shaped bone that sits right here in your neck. And what's crazy is it doesn't connect to any other bone. It just floats there, held by muscles and ligaments. Now look at this. Chimps have these big air sacs attached to their hyoid. Great for loud calls, terrible for speech. Humans, no air sacs, which gives us like per precise tongue control. So here's what the fossils tell us: 3.3 million years ago, Australopithecus, chimp-like hyoid, couldn't speak like us. 450,000 years ago, Homo heidelbergensis. How to pronounce Homo heidelbergensis? Homo heidelbergensis. Human-like hyoid speech was possible, but the hyoid is just. Part of evolved language, because then we also redesigned something else. It's 300,000 years ago. Evolution's trying to perfect the human voice box. Okay, let's see.、Uh, what if I move the voice box down? They create two chambers: a horizontal and vertical. But there's a problem. <laughs> Oh, but now they can choke on food.、Oh, it might be worth the risk. What if I make both chambers the same length? Ah, e, o. Oh, those sounds are so different from each other. Other humans will never mishear them. Ah.、Uh, e. Ooh. Ah.、Uh, okay, perfect. The three vowels will be in every human language. And evolution was right. Those three vowels, a, i, u, a, e, u, that are perfectly proportioned vocal tract created, they show up in almost every single human language on Earth. <laughs> Chinese has them. Arabic has them. English, Swahili, Russian, Hindi. Seven thousand different languages, and they all start with the same building blocks. A, E, U. From cave paintings to Shakespeare to your last text message, it all traces back to one tiny floating throat bone and a perfectly proportioned voice box. The greatest invention in human history. See you next week.